Hello and welcome to this spreadsheet for stopper design created by the NavalArc.com. Stoppers are a very widely used sea fastening item for preventing the movement of cargo during transport. A stopper is welded to the deck of the vessel and rests against the sides of the cargo so that the cargo doesn't shift in the longitudinal and the transverse directions. It is to be noted that stoppers provide restraint only against forces and not against tipping. For tipping we need to use a different sea fastening item called clips or dog plates. Stoppers can be of various designs, we'll be looking at two different designs for which this spreadsheet can be used. The first design as we can see from the screen is a stopper with a web plate and a face plate, the face plate rests against the cargo, and it is the web plate which provides the actual restraint against the transverse and the longitudinal force on the cargo. The other design is of a stopper without face plate. Let's see the spreadsheet for the first type with a face plate. The first worksheet is the input sheet in which the user needs to provide the material and geometrical properties of the stopper, the properties of the weld, and the forces on the cargo. The forces on the cargo are assumed to have been obtained from either a motions analysis or from the empirical formulas, and these forces go as inputs in the stopper design. There is a separate spreadsheet on the NavalArc.com for calculating forces on the cargo based on Noble Denton formulas. So, the total transverse and longitudinal forces on the cargo have to be input by the user. Next is the stopper geometry in which we have to enter the dimensions of the stopper, and also the number of stoppers in the transverse and longitudinal directions. Figures are also provided on the right to explain these inputs. It is to be noted that only the weld between the web plate and the deck is considered as effective in preventing the transverse and the longitudinal forces. Once all the inputs are provided, the spreadsheet does a final strength check. It first calculates the maximum force either longitudinal or transverse acting on a stopper and then, it calculates the stopper properties like the shear area and the section modulus. From the design force and from the properties of the stopper it calculates the bending, shear and combined stresses. Similarly it also does a weld check for the stopper in which it calculates the bending, shear stress and the total stress on the weld. With that, the stress check of the stopper is complete. This spreadsheet can be used to design a stopper of the type which has a web plate and a face plate. Another spreadsheet has been developed in which the stopper is simply in the form of a rectangular plate resting against the cargo. Similar to the earlier spreadsheet it asks for all the inputs on forces, stopper geometry, and weld. Once all these inputs are provided, the strength check for the stopper is performed similar to the earlier spreadsheet. These two spreadsheets together can be used to design a stopper with a face plate, or a simple stopper without a face plate. That was about the stopper design spreadsheet developed by the NavalArc.com. Please visit the website to know more about it and download it. Thank you very much.